my delicious not prawn toast is a simple but impressive snack. It's called not prawn toast because I use chicken instead. You have to trust me on this one. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got some chicken breast and I'm going to stick that straight into a food processor. I've got 450 grams here and you could use chicken mince instead if you like. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Next, crack in one egg, add a clove of garlic, a teaspoon of chilli flakes, the same of ground coriander and some fresh coriander. And then I'm going to add a good pinch of salt, blitz. Whenever I order Chinese takeaway, got to order prawn toast. I tried to make it once, so I ordered just a little small punnet of prawns and I made maybe two bits of bread. Prawns are really expensive and I've got, I've got three kids, I've got a husband, I've got a family. I mean, like, when we get together, there's 24 of us. That's really expensive, that breaks the bank. So I thought, you know what, I've got to find an alternative. And chicken, I mean, if you don't tell, if you blitz it enough and you don't tell anyone, you could almost get away with it being prawn. But it's not, it's chicken, it's cheaper. So I'm using white sliced bread. No other bread will do. The best thing about using chicken is that I could be generous. When I was making it with the prawn, I was being so stingy. Spread the chicken mixture out evenly and right to the edges. Growing up, whenever we had a cup of tea, it was always with a samosa or something savoury anyway and hot. So this just kind of sits alongside in the freezer with all my samosas and my pakoras. So if you ever turn up at my house, you might get prawn toast with tea. And this is the bit that makes it homemade. Normally when you buy prawn toast, it's got white sesame seeds on top. But I'm doing a mixture of white sesame seeds and black sesame seeds because it just looks so cool. Take each slice and drop it into the sesame seeds making sure you get a good covering all over the chicken. Perfect. Look at that. So I want to fry these really quickly, but I don't want to burn the seeds, so I've got to be a little bit careful with the oil. And they go sesame seed side down. Oh, my God, there's something about fried bread that makes me very happy. The hardest bit now is making this and try and get any of it in the freezer. Because once that's out, I've got to eat some of this. It'll only take a few minutes for the chicken to cook through. Then flip the toast over. It's literally just like a minute on that side. And that'll soak up a little bit of the oil, not a lot of it. Perfect, they're done. The best thing about these, especially when you make them at home, is that there's no waiting around for a Chinese takeaway. You get to eat them straight out of the frying pan. Oh. Crispy fried bread, lightly spiced chicken, not prawn, and that nutty, nutty sesame seed on top. That is so much better than a Chinese takeaway. Now, all I've got left to do is fry the rest of them for the rest of the week. They're easy to make and can be heated up from frozen in minutes. The perfect quick snack for those full-on days.